Hello everyone and welcome to the part 4 of the chat tutorial uh, series. So today, uh, no, let's talk about uh, the other video. Um, we're gonna go through what we've done. So uh, what we did was that we, if I start a server here, uh, and I start a client, we made it so that we can get uh, messages from the server. Great, so <coughs> um, what we're going to do now is that we're going to go uh, into the server and we're going to remove this for now. Okay, and now <laughs> we're going to go into the user class and we're going to do. Uh, 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 we're going to copy these two into the user class and we're going to make this one these ones public okay and mm. uh, what we're gonna do now <laughs> is that we're going to um, yeah we're gonna leave that for now and we're gonna go into the chat server and we're gonna create a, uh, a list here uh, Array list user users is equal to new array list user and import that and it should be uh, Java dot util dot array list or it won't work. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is that when uh, a person connects, we're gonna do uh, users dot add new user and no actually uh, <laughs> yeah well let's do that for now and into the we're gonna make a constructor here public user print writer in buffered reader in oh sorry it should be out and there we go and we should do this dot out out is equal to out and this dot in is equal to in. So basically what we're going to do is that we're uh oh we're going to uh, create a user class and every time someone joins uh a user object will be created inside of a list so that we can send messages to all of these users. Okay, so uh, now we're done with that. Let's go into the chat server and now just add out in. There we go. And we're gonna create a, a function down here. Uh, here, public static void uh, broadcast stream text, and we're gonna do. Uh, for int i is equal to zero if i is less than users dot uh, let me okay i plus plus and hold on that one and do change to static so there we go and now we're gonna do user user is equal to users dot get i user dot uh, in dot, uh, no user dot out dot print ln text. So there we go. So this function will will use this function to broadcast messages to all of the users, and um, so it loops through the list of users. Great. And also we're gonna do. Uh, Before here, we're gonna do if user is equal to null, or if user dot out is equal to null. Um, we're gonna do users dot remove user. There we go. So if the user has disconnected, it it uh, will be removed. So there we go. And now, um, in here, we're gonna do 
Mm. Uh, string text is equal to uh, i dot read line. Strong we try and catch, and we're gonna do broadcast text. There we go. So yeah. This will make it so that if a user sends a message, it will be broadcasted to all of the other users. So we, that won't work yet because the user, uh, if let's start a server and the client, as you can see, the user doesn't have anything to type into. So we need to fix that. And to do that, we're going to go into the we'll close everything here and go into the client and. Into the chat window, we're gonna make another thing here. Static final J text field message field is equal to new J text field and import that and static final J button uh, send button is equal to new J button send. There we go, and now. Uh, let me s let's make this uh, public static, okay? Public static. Now what we can do is that we can uh, add these to the panel. Uh, first, set up the size. So, message field dot set preferred size uh, with minus 32 and 16 or something I don't know oh we need dimension new dimension there we go so and now we do panel dot add uh, message field actually that should be added after this one there so if we start the chat uh, we'll see that we have this here, and uh, let's make it 32 actually, or maybe 25 or something. I don't know. Okay, so now we're gonna do uh, panel dot add panel dot add message. Uh, no, send button. So if we start this, this is what we should see. And we're going to add another thing here. So there's nothing happening when you press send right now. So we're going to fix that. So to do that, we just do send button dot dot hmm, send button dot add action listener new action listener and put curly brackets after this one and import everything. Hold on this one and do add unimplemented methods. And now what you're going to type in here is that you're going to type string text is equal to uh, message field dot get text. And we're going to do uh, client dot uh, out dot print ln uh, text and text message field dot set text so we get the text from the message field and we send the text to the server and we clear the text so now if we start here we type something and we won't be able to send it because uh, we're not connected to the server so uh, we need to start the server there we go and start client and now we should be able to type stuff here. Test. Yeah, we can type stuff. And if we connect another client here, uh, and we have both of these clients open, I think we should be able to. Yeah, we can chat with each other now. So that's awesome. So there's one last thing we're going to add to this, and that is actually. Uh, we're gonna add so that you can uh, choose your name when you uh, start the client. So, uh, <coughs> so on top of the, uh, in, I mean, inside of the client class, 
before the client starts here, do uh, no here up here uh, type uh, string name uh, public static string username is equal to just put that, and now we're gonna do uh, uh, username is equal to j option pane dot show input dialog enter your name there we go and now go into the chat window and we're gonna do uh, print ln client dot username plus these ones and plus text so there we go so now when we start the server and the client we get this message enter your name Sebastian okay so now when I type something hello my name will be there so and if I start another client and type type in like David or something uh, this is what it will look like hello David you will see that my name here and I can type uh, hello Sebastian nice to meet you so that is pretty cool so if you close these uh, you'll see it, print, it prints out some errors here when a client disconnects and uh, that we're going to fix in the next tutorial so the the chat program works now just that it throws an error when someone disconnects so if you you don't need to fix this it's not necessary but uh, if you do want to fix this uh, please check out my uh, my next video so thanks for watching